Hi, I'm Megan Kripchen. I'm a marathon runner. I'm a 232 marathoner, 69.51 and a half. I'm a three-time Olympic trials marathon qualifier. Um, and I've highest place finish was seventh at the 2016 Olympic trials. So the daily routine, it, it changes given on what day it is. Is it a recovery day? Is it a workout day? But what, regardless of a hard day or easy day, I like to get a little bit of a stretch in just to get the body ready to go. And then if it's a workout, I'm going to do somewhere between like a 20 minute warm up, which is two to three miles, two and a half, to three miles, and then do a lot of drills and stretches and then a bunch of strides to get ready for some fast speed work. On a, on a regular day, just stretch the body, do a few little prehab rehab exercises and get the body ready to handle just a steady run and then get after my day. So in order to prepare for an upcoming race, it's kind of you, you look ahead and then you plan backwards. So like for a marathon, it's somewhere between like 12 and 16 week buildup. So we kind of look 16 weeks out, like which mar marathon am I, am I doing? And sometimes I know about that like a year ahead of time, like that's the, the goal. And if we get there, we get there. But from there, 16 weeks, then you back up the training. And, and I mean, I listen to what my coaches tell me, but we, we talk along the way and, and figure out the buildup from there. But in order to prepare, it's following that training plan. And each week you just kind of like hone in on, on more of the race plan and see how you're developing in your training. So the hardest times in my career ha happen to be like in the buildups to uh, the Olympic trials. And I think both times in 2016 and 2020, you know, there's a lot online, there's a lot at stake and you, you really, really want it. And you know, the biggest goal for me was to try to make an Olympic team. And um, in both situations, I was a little banged up. Um, 2016 was probably harder in a way because I was pool bound for the last seven weeks going into the race. So, and I didn't have like my typical routine with my, you know, physio and body work. It was, I was out at altitude and kind of just trying to get the right, you know, uh, therapy to help me. And, you know, it was my first Olympic trial. So, you know, being kind of banged up and in the pool and not really running was really mentally draining and tough. Um, going into 20, 2020, I had already had that kind of, you know, hiccupy experience. So I was... I was a little bit more knowledgeable and confident in my ability to cross train, but you know, there was even more at stake because it was in the second try and I really wanted to make it and I, I sacrificed a ton to get there. Yeah, so I think Indiba is such a fantastic resource for therapy. Um, I have used it before and I, I, you instantly get this warming sensation and you know it's loosening things up and getting things moving. Um, you get a little bit of a manual experience like physio body work just with the tools working over the area. And then it, it, there's different probes that, that work with it, but I had a warming sensation that I knew something was going on internally. And I, what I think is amazing about the device is you know, certain other therapies, whether it's massage or physical therapy, like you could kind of mimic certain things at home, you know, like pressure points and, you know, rolling out and, and scraping a little bit. Um, but you can't, you can't hone in on what's going on internally. Um, so this is targeting like your tendons and ligaments and stuff like that, that you can't reach yourself. So I think that is a, such a good thing to have the access to. Um, I think it's an integral part of therapy uh, and your training plan because as athletes, it's all about prehab and rehab and injury prevention. And if I could have used this in my builds up to the 2020 trials or 2016, I think it could have helped me um, maybe prevented an injury that, that happened. And I think in order to make it in this sport, you gotta be healthy. And if you could use this in like a weekly routine or you know, every other week, I think it will just help escalate your athletic ability and help you reach your potential. I, I believe if I had Indiva in my routine, it could have made a difference in just my, my performance in that whole buildup, not just the race, because the race I got injured and that's unfortunate. But if I could have helped myself along the way, I think it could have changed the outcome potentially. Yeah, absolutely. I think body work is so important in this sport and in mostly any sport uh, to maintain your 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 body and to prevent injuries and just loosen things up so you could really reach your potential and 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 hold your truest form. Um, for me, it's 
I, ideally it's at least once a week that I'm getting some form of body work. So whether it's massage or physical therapy, if, if I can, it would be two week, two, two times a week or even more if needed. Um, so we, if Indiva was part of my routine, working with some therapist, if it was incorporated once or twice a week, I think that would just be like ideal. Access to Indiva and using it as part of your routine is a benefit, period. Um, it's science-based, so it's working on things that you're, you don't have access to just by yourself. And for me, it's, it's the speeding of recovery. So, you know, doing a hard session, if you have something like this, it'll just help escalate things moving and flow in your body and help speed the recovery. And that's how you make it in the sport, because if you could recover faster, that means you could get after it the next day or two days later and go after it as hard as you did or even harder. And, and that's how, you know, you become better than somebody else, your opponent. So recovery is everything and speeding up the recovery and just making gains and treating your body right is how you're gonna reach your potential. I think having a good relationship with your therapist is everything as well if you're open and they could see things that you don't necessarily see. So with Indiba, it's not just targeting the injury area. It could be targeting somewhere that is the root cause of it. You know, sometimes something that's hurting in your foot is really stemming from your back. And I think using a device like this, it could open up things that you don't even know are bothering you. And having the therapist with the machine is like such a great pair. And it's a dynamic relationship with everybody. And you have to have people that are looking out for you to make it. And this device is just something to add to that pile of, of you know, help.